So these are all of the items that are going into this credibility kit. Let me give you a recent example of a way that I used to steal properties from another in, uh, many other investors. This is recent. And then I'll tell you how to do it overall. I was driving down the road one day, down in Bradenton, and there was a house. And there was a big sign on the lawn, and it said, for sale, needs to be sold today, and the paint is dripping. So, and there's all these cars parked everywhere. So I went, ah, pulled in. So I'm walking around, and I hope I'm not insulting anybody in the room, because this is really the way it was. There are all these investors, and they got their little paper clip, you know, their little clipboards there, and they got their little pen there, and they're walking around the house, and they're making all these notes and everything like that. Well, if you have gotten any training from Robin, you already know that you can walk up to a house and say, that's a $20,000 rehab, that's a $30,000 rehab. You don't need 27 pages of notes. So there's all these investors, and they got their little clipboards, and they're walking around the house. And same thing inside. So I did a quick run around the outside of the house, did a quick run on the inside of the house, got on the phone, called my appraiser really quick. Um, and this could be like, you know, your appraiser, your realtor, whoever you can get a hold of like now. And it happened to be my appraiser that day. And I called him on the phone and I said, hey, Jerry, I need to know the value on this house really fast. Give it, I need comps now. Addresses, yada, yada, yada. Terrible condition, house is a mess. Okay, I'll call you back in a minute. About 10 minutes later, Jerry calls me back, I got my comps. So I'm doing my calculations, takes me just a minute to do that. Did my calculations, figured out how much to offer for the property. And so the seller is sitting on this um, like lawn chair under the carport. He's just like, mm. And so I walked up to the seller and I said, okay, I'm prepared to make you an offer right now. I'd like to offer you $55,000 on your property. I need to close by Monday. It's like Wednesday of the previous week. No problem, I can close by Monday, that's easy stuff. What makes you think you can close any better than any of the rest of these idiots? My, his words, not mine. Well, sir, um, hold on one second, I'll be right back. So I walk back to my car because my credibility kit is always in the car, okay? I have more than one copy of it, so it's in the car. Here you go, sir, here's everything that you need. There you go, you call anybody on that list you want to call. You call anybody in there. He picks up his telephone and he starts calling. He calls the appraiser, he calls the title person, he calls my realtor, he calls my hard money lenders. Five phone calls later, he's like, okay, that's fine, get a contract. Contract's right here, sir, we write up the contract, we're done. I want $5,000 deposit today. I don't make deposits on properties. I'm like, oh, crummo. So I call my private lender, I said, what are we gonna, I said, okay, sir, hold on one second. So I call my private lender. I'm like, okay, what are we gonna do here? He goes, no problem, because you got a credit card, right? Yeah, write a check on your credit card or go to the title company and let them you know, run it for you for the $5,000 down and I'll give it back to you at the closing. Big whoop, I'm like, God, you're so smart. Okay, we're all set. It's your responsibility to get rid of all those idiots. <laughs> no problem. Kid you not, this is for real. There's like 15 investors. Um, I just bought the place, I, I just bought this house, go. I just bought this house, you're on my property, leave. 15 times, and they're all furious with me. How'd you do that? I know what I'm doing, okay? Seriously guys, this is the way you use a credibility kit to steal properties from other investors. Now here's another really neat way to use this tool. You're going out to see a seller, right? And you've got your credibility kit. Now, a credibility kit is a really good thing to hand to a seller to keep them busy so you can look at the house without somebody like right here. Okay, so well, that's another really great way to use this tool. So you've got them looking at your credibility kit. And you come back and you say, okay, I'd like to make an offer on your property. My offer is whatever it is. Okay, well, I want to talk to a couple of other investors before I make a final decision. Have you ever had that happen to you? Yes, absolutely. I totally understand that. But can I give you a little piece of advice? Would that be okay? Yes? When the next investor comes out, they should have a book that looks just like this. This is called a business plan or a credibility kit. If they don't have a book that looks very similar to this, either they haven't been in the business very long or they might be trying to scam you, you might want to be really careful about who you're dealing with. You are protecting your sellers, folks, by doing this, okay? Next seller, next investor comes out, I'd like to make you an offer on your property. 
Okay, can I see your credibility kit? Because I'd really like to know whether or not you can close. My what? Folks, I kid you not, this is a great way for you to gain credibility with your sellers and steal properties from your, uh, from your competitors over and over. You heard me ask how many folks had letters from other sellers and not a single person in this room raised their hand. Do you think if you had your credibility kit in hand right now and went out to do the same deal that these folks did, you'd get it instead? Yes? Absolutely. Absolutely. Okay. Credibility kit is absolutely the way to go.